good morning children let us continue the geography lesson 5 the major domains of the earth yesterday i have explained about the lithosphere hydrosphere and also the uh, atmosphere and biosphere so children in the lithosphere and also the hydrosphere and the atmosphere and all these including in the narrow zone of a biosphere so the lithosphere yesterday i have told for you about the mountains are there so here the highest mountain peak is mount everest is it is 8848 meters above the sea level from the land to up it is the 8848 meters the greatest depth of this 11022 meters is recorded at marina trench in pacific ocean so highest peak and also the the depth in the sea under uh, so the depth inside also the marina trench could you imagine the depth of sea is more than the highest point so children the height of the mountain is 8848 but depth inside the sea how much depth it is there 11022 comparing to the mountain the ocean pacific ocean depth is the more so here the mount everest so children the first person edmund hillary from the new zealand and tanjing narge sharpa in, in uh, belongs to india were the first men to climb the highest mountain peak mount everest on the planet the earth on 29th may 1953 so here junko thebai from belongs to the japan was the first woman to reach the summit of 16th may 1975 the first indian woman to climb the highest peak on 23rd may 1984 was bachandri paul so here the to climb the that much height of the mountain the itman hilari tanjing narge and also the bachandri paul and they are the people who climbed the mount everest so children now there are the seven continents in map if you see the map there are the seven continents and oceans also is there on the map clearly in the textbook also the continents there are seven major continents they are separated by large water bodies these continents are asia europe africa north america south america australia and antarctica we can see in the world map in textbook clearly they have given about all these asia europe africa south north america south america australia and antarctica also how to locate also they have showed in the map also so children the greater part of the land mass lies in the northern hemisphere so the globe is divided into starting only i told for you northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere most most of the land part is located in the northern hemisphere the first continent is the asia asia is the largest continent it covers above one third of the total land area of the earth the continent lies in the eastern hemisphere the tropic of cancer passing through this continent also so children it is the largest continent and also the it is located in the eastern hemisphere northern hemisphere southern hemisphere and comparing to the east end and also the western hemisphere so the asia is located in the eastern hemisphere the tropic of cancer there are the tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn also is there through the latitude of the tropic of cancer in is located the asia asia is separated from the europe by the ural mountains so the asia and europe it was dividing by the ural mountains on the west the combined land mass of europe and asia is called the eurasia europe plus asia is called eurasia both and the second one is the europe europe is most smaller than the asia <coughs> the continent lies to the west of asia 
the arctic circle passes through it so children the asia is located in the tropic of cancer the europe the arctic circle passing through its it is bound by water bodies on three sides we can see the map of the map of the world and we can locate it also so next one is the <coughs> africa is the second largest continent after asia the equator of 0 degree latitude runs almost through the middle of the continent also a large part of africa lies in the northern hemisphere so the africa is asia is located in the eastern hemisphere the europe is the arctic circle passing through the europe africa it is the second largest continent also here zero degree latitude so large part of africa lies in the northern hemisphere we can see the figure 5.1 and we'll find that is the only continent through which the tropic of cancer of equator and the tropic of Cap capricorn is uh, passing so children the africa it is the zero degree lat latitude equator tropic of capricorn tropic of cancer also passing through this continent the sahara desert the world largest hot desert is located in uh, africa the continent is bound all sides by oceans and seas the surrounding of the africa continent the oceans and seas also it is there we can see the map and surrounding well, we can see the world map and we can find out how the africa total it was covered with water also next notice that the world largest river nile flows through the africa only we can see the equator the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn passing the map of africa we can see the world map how the uh, this tropic of cancer and also zero degree latitude equator and tropic of capricorn we can see in the map also by seeing the map we can understand more also so let us continue in the tomorrow's class about the north america and south america so children read the textbook after seeing this video also you can understand the more more and more what information is there in the textbook in the lesson also thank you